So welcome along to the recap for week nine. So this week uh, we finished central banking, uh, first of all, uh, with a quick tour of the world. And of course the cl clear message is that pretty much every central bank is facing the same challenges um, as the ECB. So again, it's just worth mentioning uh, for the purposes of the final exam, that is going to be primarily the ECB you need to look at. Um, in particular, uh, look at its mandate, the decisions it's made in the last two meetings, and then a wider discussion about its monetary policy strategy at the moment, given the inflationary environment. But bearing in mind that there is potentially an impending slowdown in the Eurozone economy, uh, the ECB faces some difficult decisions ahead. And then the next thing we looked at um, in Thursday's class was obviously the final topic. And also just it would be worth looking at the slides to get a sense of the overall structure of the module as well. And in particular, breakdown of the topics um, especially for the final exam so th the topics for the final exam are clearly indicated in the slides um, from Thursday the other thing just to point out as well in this final topic we'll be going through quite a lot of topics beginning with um, Bitcoin but then moving on to other coins um, generally digital currencies then looking at blockchain decentralized finance or DeFi looking at then more uh, recent innovations such as NFTs, and then just in general uh, talking about, um, I suppose, modern innovations in financial services uh, before finalizing um, on an emerging issue, which is central bank digital currencies. So that l this last topic um, is something that brings together a lot of the issues we've already covered, whether that be the, the nature of money, regulation, uh, innovation, uh, disruption in, in financial services, and, and so on. I suppose the other thing we're just worth mentioning as well before I finish this is that um, there does seem to be some indication of slowdown in tech um, and that's also affecting fintech as evidenced by yesterday's decision by Stripe to announce um, some layoffs. So with that in mind, um, 